Yo guys, Philip Dorsey here, back with a new video! Let's get into this! No, we can't take the intro. It's just... He's just trying too hard. He just can't do that one. Jokes guys, I'm back with a new video and today I just wanted to talk about cameras. Well, not really talk, I wanted to show you something because I'm going on a long trip, as some of you may not know exactly, and um, I need to have a vlogging camera again. And you know I did this... S120 versus G7X, the YouTuber camera kind of thing, comparing the compact cameras, um, I saw that Sony brought out a really nice, beautiful, small little thing called the Sony RX100 Mark IV. If some of you guys uh, follow me on Twitter, you may have seen that I've also pre-ordered that one. So that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, uh, I went to the camera store and I thought, come, let's just play around with the system and check it out, because I'm like, checking out Sony stuff at the moment anyway because of the DSLRs or DSLMs they have and all that kind of stuff so I thought let's just check it out so um, I saw a couple of cameras and I was uh, at John Lewis by the way and they were really cool they said what well, you know what just get the cameras test them out at home and then you can uh, see and decide which one you want to go for so I went yeah why not of course I, I'm going to do that so uh, I've ended up with one two and three cameras okay so why three cameras cameras Google it. <laughs> okay so why three cameras let me explain this is the G7X I already tested and I thought it was a pretty good camera but I didn't like the autofocus autofocus issue with it so um, I didn't keep it was that a good idea or not we'll find out um, then the Sony RX100 Mark III, this is the one they have at the moment, and then I was checking out the Sony stuff and they had this other new one, which is the HX90, which also has a flippy screen and all that stuff, a viewfinder, there we go, and well, a flash, but it's not a bouncy one, only a little bounce, but it's not going to affect the pictures in a really good way, like the um, RX100 Mark III, you can like put it down right to the end and you get a really nice bounce flash. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. So I thought, okay, this one seems to be really cheap. It's the HX90 and it looks cool. It's small, it's not about the looks anyway, but it's small, compact, and it's thinner than the G7X or the Sony RX100. So I don't know if you will be able to see that or, hmm. What am I doing here? I'll show you, I'll blend in the picture so you can see what I mean. And um, it's got the nice turny ring at the front. It's got all the spec. And then I thought, hmm, why not? That could be a really great camera. It's got flippy screen so I can see myself. It doesn't have this strange metal bar as the RX100 has here so you can actually grab right nice. Like I showed you in that uh, small um, quick tip. I'll put link up the video and you can see what I mean. And um, so you can like grab it and then you do all the vlogging thing and that would be really cool. So I thought, well, why not? This could be a really good one. Um, but then I saw it doesn't have a one inch sensor. It's got a 2.3 something sensor. So it's um, smaller than the one inch sensors the G7X and the RX100 have, which are quite popular and it doesn't have a, as good as lens. So it's a 3.5 minimum aperture at the widest angle and that gives you all that nice bokeh and defocus background and just one thing in focus and all that stuff so I thought I'll just give it a try anyway and we'll see what the picture's like and that's why we're doing this video God, I'm rambling on long so long <laughs> so I would say let's do some vlogging tests do a side by side comparison and see what that better lens and that better or bigger sensor really does to your image quality even though you're just doing a vlog. So we're going to take out the, where we have it now, there we go, the HX90 from Sony and the G7X and maybe we're going to do another video with the G7X and the RX100 Mark III. Mark IV is coming anyway, you know, um, but yeah. We'll do that to a later time. So, stay subscribed and enjoy this video. Uh, 
Okay guys, so we're outside now and we've come to Port Key, to the harbour, because there is a bike show. And by the way, I've both displays flipped up. And it's a bit windy here, so you can also see how the wind cancellation is. And down there we can see some motorbikes because we have a motorbike show going on here. So let's check it out and see what we can capture. Okay guys, so it's really windy out here, so I can't really do a lot of audio stuff. But I'll put down the cameras down on that small, well, block. And then we'll zoom into those boats. And then you can see what the difference is, because the Sony has a really good zoom lens. And uh, yeah, we should definitely check it out how far it can go. Okay guys, so pool didn't really work out because it was much too windy and it's a quite a windy day today. But I thought I'd definitely get in a, a night time or a low light kind of shot and by the look of it, the G7X is a bit overexposed, could it be? Even though, we've got the one inch sensor and that definitely is a big advantage for vlogging or doing anything. The HX90 is a great device for uh, image stabilization has a really long zoom so that's kind of a cool thing um, I don't know about the audio we have to check that one and the focus hmm, all of them aren't really the best at the moment but maybe I don't know tell me about that uh, anyway I think we should sum it up by saying the HX90 for me personally isn't going to well, nah, it's not going to be the thing. So I'm going to bring it back to John Lewis and we're going to focus on the G7X and the RX100. So we'll definitely do another video on that one and we'll see what we're going to do about that. Otherwise, the things I really have to say what I like about the HX90 is obviously the price, then the handability, it's really, it feels comfortable vlogging with. And if you're okay with the, with the sensor size, that's fine. Talking about sensor size, how would it compare to a smartphone? Because smartphones are getting so good. So what I thought was, let's get out the smartphone. So let me just do that now. Okay guys, so we've got the iPhone 6 and the Sony HX19 out now. And, well, I'm excited to see what the quality is like. Let me guys, uh, let you, bleh, what am I saying? You guys tell me what you think about the quality. That's what I'm trying to say. And I guess the image stabilization of the Sony is going to be better than on the iPhone, even though it's been a really good image stabilization on the phone itself. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. And then I would say we'll see us in the next video very soon. This camera is sleazy, I don't know why I did that at the end. It just put down the shutter speed to get the right exposure, but that means you get much too much motion blur and that just looks shit. Anyway, I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna bring it back now. I just wanted to comment on this and, well, just put in this quick clip with the HX90 before I bring it back. Because for me, the sensor's too small, you don't get that good low light performance, and the lens on the other cameras are much sharper. So let's get, more into depth with those other cameras, the G7X and the RX100. If you want any special things, what you want to know about them, put them down in the comments so I can check it out for the next video. And I would say I'm going to sign out and we'll see us in the next one. Cheers. Hey, we're going to, what am I saying now? I'm always going, but, 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 am I? Next. <laughs>